So, if you have a DIY battery like this, you need a balanced charger. I have used this type of charger in the past and it's okay. But I really don't like that I have to press a million buttons to get this thing going. Also, I don't like that it only has room for 6S battery and it has a loud fan. So I have built this DIY balanced charger using these modules. It's super cheap, works by just plugging the wires in and it is scalable to any amount of series in a battery pack. Now let's see what's wrong with this system after one year of exploitation and do some repairs. Now a lithium battery needs a balanced charger. In other words, you need a system that individually charges every string of cells in a battery pack. You can easily do that with this cheap little module. This is TP4056. To make this work, connect separate power supply to this module. That's very important. I used these small buck converters because this was the only alternative suggested back in the days when I researched this matter. Then multiply this by the number of series in your battery pack like this. Here is how you connect a setup for a 6S battery pack. If you have a pack of 13S, just add some more. They're super cheap. I have been using this system for over a year now and I like it a lot. But there are two issues. One is that the maximum power output is around 1 amp per module. So it takes some time to charge a 24 amp battery. That's around 24 hours. Luckily I'm not in a hurry. Second one is that these little buck converters burn up constantly. They just can't handle it because they are rated at maximum 700 milliamps. So they are overloaded all the time. Yes, you can say get a bigger power supply. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. First, let's replace this fuse. As you can see, I have already replaced a couple of these small power supplies with bigger ones. Small ones just don't hold up in this application and burn with a nice fuse pop. Now, let's check for short circuit in the system with a simple continuity test. Seems like no shirts there, so let's plug it in and see which power modules are working. Looks like two of them are dead, no blue LEDs there. Let's remove those dead power supplies. Now that's trash. There is some room for new power supplies now. I will be replacing them with these mobile chargers. They are actually just a 5 volt power supplies. You can find this anywhere. Let's extract the actual modules from casings. Use safety glasses and maybe some gloves when extracting electronics from sealed enclosures. Now here is the actual power supply module. These are AC tabs. And these tabs are the USB connector. Wires will be connected here for the 5 volt output. Now I prepare some thin gauge wires for the 5 volt connection. Yes, I have a strange way of stripping those ends, but this is how I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. So I get used to this method and it works fine for me. The tabs on the module are pretty small, so everything will have to be pre-soldiered. Let's put some fresh solder on both sides. Now this will be easier if there is a narrow tip on the soldering iron. This one is kind of hanging in the air, but it's fine and secure. I will secure these connections with some hot glue later. Hot glue gun is the best thing ever. I use it all the time and can't live without it. The second module is almost identical. I put some hot glue to secure these small fragile connections. Now let's connect some AC wires. This is a bit easier since these tabs are much bigger. Now let's prepare charger modules for connecting 5 volt wires. Without saying, ground goes to ground, positive to positive. Here I connect new power modules to the AC power rail. 
Be careful when dealing with AC power. Always have a fuse on your setup. A fuse is a great way of protection against faulty electronics. Use some tape or shrink tubing to isolate hanging contacts. Now I'm arranging these power modules so that I could see LEDs on every charger module. Let's attach them with hot glue just enough to stop them from moving around. See me putting glue on the edges of these modules. Never put hot glue on the windings or any components that may get hot. That glue will just melt away and free anything you try to fasten. And then a little glue on the wires to stop one of these charger modules from moving around. They are super light, so this will hold them sufficiently. Now let's test this system. Great! Now we have blue LEDs on every charger module. Let's test it with one of my DIY battery packs. Great! Now we have red LEDs on every module. That means that the system is now charging this battery. They will turn blue again when battery is full. And there you have it! We looked into this concept and did some repairs slash upgrades. My honest opinion is, this is a great system and I will continue using it. What do you think about this setup? Leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.